Hi, in this video, I'm going to be going over how you can land a cybersecurity career in 90 days. My title is not clickbait. You don't need a degree, you don't need experience, and you don't need to go through a $20,000 bootcamp. The quickest and most efficient pathway into cybersecurity, if you have no degree or experience, is through cybersecurity sales. The best place to start is through Course Careers. This is a program by Troy Buckholt, the author of The Lean Career, and essentially he has created a program that partners with companies such as No4B, which is a company by Kevin Mitnick, the famous hacker, that helps you land a job. So with my coupon code, ANES50, you will get $50 off and it's a guaranteed interview. I 100% believe that it is worth it. I'm going through the course right now. It's really good. If you are new to my channel, this channel is all about helping you upskill and land a job in tech where I go over different careers, different courses, different materials that will help you land a job as quick as possible. So what exactly is security sales and why should you even consider it as a job? Well, cybersecurity sales is essentially you're selling software that deals with cybersecurity to different companies to help them solve their problems. You should consider this career because the growth rate of cybersecurity will rise by $10 billion in the next five years, meaning there is a ton of opportunity. Some things you might do on a day-to-day -day basis when working in cybersecurity sales is you may be talking with clients to discover their needs. So this is a great job if you're an extrovert. You may be creating deals or promotions for customers. You may be finding different technologies or selling your company's solution two different companies. You may be answering questions about cybersecurity products and services. You may be preparing sales invoices and contracts for different things. Learning sales skills is probably one of the most valuable things that you can learn in your career. If you get into cybersecurity sales and realize that you absolutely hate it and only do it for about one or two years, you can pivot to cybersecurity in a more technical role where you're not dealing with people on a day-to-day -day basis, but you have an unfair advantage that your coworkers won't have is that you understand the business side of everything. You also can probably communicate a lot better than the majority of people in cybersecurity who have never worked in sales. What do you need to do in order to get into cybersecurity? sales. Well, the first thing you're going to need to know is a foundation of cybersecurity knowledge. I got this question and it essentially asked, what level of cybersecurity knowledge do I need to succeed in a sales role? The answer is a baseline of the CompTIA Security Plus. You go to CompTIA and see the syllabus, you'll see that some of the basics include the difference between a threat, attack, a vulnerability, cybersecurity technologies and tools, architecture and design principles, identity and access management, governance, risk, and compliance, cryptography, and PKI. The list goes on and on. I would check out the syllabus for the CompTIA Security Plus. And if you can explain all of those topics, I would say that you have enough knowledge to go into an entry-level cybersecurity sales role. And then later on in your career, you can progress to say a cybersecurity sales engineer. I do have that syllabus below. The second step you're going to want to do is learn the basics of sale knowledge. You can honestly probably gain all of this knowledge all online for free. However, I find when trying to learn something new, I come across too much information and I get overwhelmed and I don't really know what to focus on. A 2020 study from Nielsen shows that Americans spend over 12 hours consuming media. However, not everybody is successful or learning new skills. And so it can really help if you find a structured program, walk you through exactly what materials you need to learn, what's essential and what isn't essential. Some of the Basic knowledge you'll need is the sales methodology, sales cycle and prospecting, cold emails and cold outreach and what that is and how to do it effectively. And a great place to learn all of this is Course Careers course. After you learn the cybersecurity basics and you learn the, the sales that you need to do, which you can definitely do within 60 days, you're going to want to spruce up your resume. According to Finance Online, the most common issues with resumes are that they have grammar issues. Make sure to get this proofrated. I know I'm not the best at grammar. The second one is lies on your resume. So make sure everything is truthful. And if you go through this material, you'll definitely have a good footing. Next one is unprofessional emails. There is a way to do really good emails. I'll put it right here. Essentially, this is from the Google Data Analytics course. Next resume issue is you don't have any quantifiable results. So I would definitely try to inventory your achievements in the past and put numbers to it. Next one is generic. So it's really common 
discipline for yours to look like everybody else's and so it's easy to pass yours up even though you may be really qualified. And some of the most efficient resume approaches are number one, start sentences with action verbs such as led a team or spearheaded is a really good one. Send resumes between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. as this is usually when HR is scanning resumes. Also make sure your resume matches LinkedIn as in a sales career, LinkedIn is going to be much more important than your resume because that is where they're going to find you. The next step to landing a job in cybersecurity sales within 90 days is to apply to an internship. This can be kind of difficult, especially if you're a new graduate. You're trying to make yourself different from whole bunch of other college graduates who probably have similar experience with you. So getting a certificate like Security Plus and then going into cybersecurity sales would be beneficial. And after you get that internship and get a little bit of experience, it's going to be so much easier for you to land a full-time job with a company, especially in a beginning role such as cybersecurity sales. So the step five is to land a job in cybersecurity sales and go from there. There are tons of opportunities after you get that first job within 90 days. So if you want to pivot to say a SOC analyst or a cybersecurity analyst, then it would be a little bit more easier to do that if you have that experience underneath your belt. It's a really good place to start. So what is the compensation of a cybersecurity sales representative or cybersecurity sales engineer. Starting out, you can expect to make around $60,000 to $100,000, depending on what your qualifications are or if you have previous experience. And then once you move up two to three years, you can make $250,000, $300,000 as a technical sales engineer. And after, there are people that make over $500,000 a year after five years of experience. So the sky is the limit. So you can make much more in cybersecurity sales than you could say if you went technical route because sales is what drives business. You'll make more than your manager. You'll make more than the people doing the, the, the fence. You'll make more than penetration testers. This is the most lucrative path within cybersecurity. You could make more than a chief information security officer. Within the opportunities within cybersecurity, there are so many things you could do. I did take this screenshot on a company org structure from Course Careers. Link is below in the description, get $50 off. Essentially, you could go into management if you wanted to become a sales manager, you could become a VP, you could become a chief marketing officer, chief information officer, you go into the technical path of cybersecurity, become a SOC analyst, If I could go back and I was like, how do I change my career in the quickest amount of time? And I don't want to spend $20,000 on a boot camp, and I don't want to get a degree. I just kind of want to start working and get a work experience and see what is for me and what isn't for me. I would start out with cybersecurity sales because it does teach you really good communication skills and that will last you for your entire lifetime and make things much easier. You also learn how businesses work a lot better in a sales role than you would if you were in a technical role. So you get paid more on the results that you produce instead of just kind of showing up to work or monitoring traffic like you would as a SOC analyst or finding vulnerabilities or something of that sort. Also, the salary is really, really good. And after five years of experience in cybersecurity sales, you're going to make way more in sales than you are if you are just going the technical route. If you are really money motivated and you want to retire by the time you're 40, cybersecurity sales might be a better path than going a technical route. But again, it just depends on personality. I strongly suggest checking out the Meyer Briggs personality test and taking that. And if you don't know what you want to do with your life and you have no idea and you just want to start working, starting a career in cybersecurity sales is fantastic. Again, Course Careers walks you through step-by-step step everything you need to know to start a career in technology sales. Get that cybersecurity knowledge and you can start out in cybersecurity sales. And I fully believe that if you go through this course and you put in the work, you will get a job in cybersecurity sales and you can do it within 90 days. So let me know and I will see you into the next video. Bye.